I have under Indian Council of Agriculture research here in we are trying to without rice mill in early stage using the conoiter here in the nails of the conoiter has been opened in the same machine and the rear two wheels have been replaced and in that place two rotor cones have been given and one boat has been given so that it slips and moves into the transplanted rice field under muddy condition so that it mixes the soil soil with urea under top dressing condition it uh, helps in uh, elimination of uh, undesirable gas from the rice field like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, nit you know, carbon monoxide and so on and it also helps in weeding. Suppose you want to avoid herbicide, this is the method. Nowadays uh, the rice transplanter are available uh, in the farmer's end at uh, random uh, and uh, not only that this is only transplanted manually by hand so that we are seeing that it can be operated here so this is the way we can reduce the uh, weeding cost of rice field by 12 mandates per hectare that is about uh, 90 mandates per hectare 12 mandates will be bigger that is 90 mandates per hectare only three to four hours necessary per bigger that is one third an acre to operate the tool uh, in between sometime we have to remove the mud what is the necessity that there must be at least one inches water on the rice field so that the machine moves properly and uh, mud does not adhere to the soil uh, to the uh, rotor cones it's very less draft it may be 8 to 10 kg to operate the machine in total, uh, for a conoidar, cost is rupee 1800 and for nail weeder it is 1800. So, I mean, in two it is 3600, but when we uh, made two in one, in that case the price is 2600 per piece. So, 1000 rupees is saved for the farmer's field. Even it is manually transplanted, the tool can be operated with little difficulty than regular line arrangement using rice transplanter. The rice seedlings are little damaged. <laughs> 